there is always another enemy. In the 1950s, it was the Russians, us and them locked in a Cold War. But in 1961, it was against our own people. The rock and roll riots hit. Youth culture clashed with authorities over new music and the movement sweeping across the country that came with it. During the civil unrest of those times, many of rock and roll's upcoming stars were killed in violent protests during concerts. The 60s would bring isolation and stagnation. Nixon beat Kennedy for the White House and immediately set out his agenda. Ask not what's in it for you, ask what's in it for the US. We withdrew from the world stage. Vietnam descended into civil war. Russia intervened, but as the scale of the war grew, its popularity fell. The USSR saw peace movements and embraced social change. Back home in the US of A, business and industry grew unfettered. Corporations became more influential than government. Pollution increased rapidly, the climate began to change, and those fat off the profits of oil and industry denied anything was wrong. Pretty soon there were water shortages and famine, and not long after came corruption and rampant inequality. Out of poverty and tension, gang cults formed, becoming more daring and violent as authorities attempted to stop them, making broken cities and the vast big empty their home. In desperation, the Enderby Amendment to the US Constitution opened the door to private policing by sanctioned operatives, which rapidly eclipsed official law enforcement agencies. This is the dog-eat-dog -dog world we live in today, where the gangs and the hired guns and the corporations that pay their bills clash in the scarred wastelands we call home. Welcome to the land of the free. North America, 2025. Cool. Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're playing the game Dark Future, um, Blood Red States. This game just released on Steam, it's £14.99, and this video is always brought to you by lovely people on Patreon, I support me each and every month so I can continue to play all of these indie games and game jam games. If you like what I do, and want to support me or follow me on various social media platforms, links are on the description, as is a link to this game. I actually checked out a very early prototype when I was at, um, oh wow, lots of things. When I was at a press event at the Bristol Games Hub. Bristol Games Hub. The Bristol Hub that has all these game developing hubs in them. So I guess we'll choose Brain in a Jar. Yeah, we should choose Brain in a Jar. Tutorial. We don't need this remote control. Please tell us about these items. A perk non standard. Cool. Yep. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> Alright. Send thing through. It's coming through okay? Fantastic. Well, good news and there's bad news. Speed Racer. The bad news is that you're burning to death after an explosion ripped through your vehicle. You were caught in the middle of gang turf. Whoop. Oops. Almost lost it there. Do you remain calm or this gen tech mind reader won't be able to work. It connects your brain with the computer, the reason we can have this conversation. So we want it to be maximum efficiency. Oh, related to that, some more bad news. How do I put this delicacy? Your brain in a... How do I put this delicately? Your brain in a jar. Slight change in body chemistry detected. A couple of cc's of morphine should keep you nicely balanced. Balanced chemically. Physically, you're balanced on three books in a jar. Your brain interface computer thing means that every action can be done remotely using sophisticated bioelectronics. Or failing that, the equipment I've hooked you up to here. Sure, you might feel as if you're living a nightmarish on reality where death is your only escape, but where was I going with this? Right, but you can do a bunch of stuff using uh, you used to do in your previous life. On that note, fact, I, the fact I found you in the Interceptor makes me think you worked as a sanctum operator, the Highways Warriors. You see taking out gang cults and the Z ZBCRs, ZBCs, nightly news. Though you're a little more than a human brain with your wires to get out of it, you can still command your car, view the highways you're battling in, interact with terminals like this one, and communicate with others. You just can't touch anything. Oh yes, the good news. Because you're able to do everything you used to do as a sanctioned op, you've been determined fit for work by the U.S. government. Irid. That's hilarious. Or additional bad news, this does mean that legally the state is no longer responsible for your well-being and you'll need to support yourself. But for a plucky person like you, that's no problem, right? Uh, there goes that body chemistry change again. Well, let's make some money. Just pick a mission on the road and repeat money. All right, so we need money because we're a brain in a jar. 
There's an ongoing fuel shortage in the big empty. As you complete missions, the cost of fuel will gradually escalate. Your goal is to complete your objective before the price of fuel becomes too high to afford. Fail to do so can leave you stranded without fuel. Would you like to... Uh, sure. All right, message selection. I want you to complete five data heist missions. The screen shows you your personal Z mail messages. New messages will arrive between missions. These marked on red until you view important messages. Later, your character will be highlighted. Stealing data. So we need to complete five heist missions. Your character's current objectives are shown on the bottom right of the garage screen and remain visible regardless of which tab you've selected. And you accomplish this. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Wow, there's so many screens. So we've got weapons. We've got upgrades. Item type, the upper left screen shows the top down view of your car, yep, which contains items and slots. You've got your engine, which, you know, is important. Armor, we've got, like, none. Okay. This bar shows your weight capacity. Selected spare. Okay, cool. Fuel pip. Got enough fuel. Money, about 30k. Uh, hired op, hired op name, and upgrade, what is this? The bottom of the screen shows your hired op. If you have one, a hired op finds an extra car to accompany you on the mission. Okay. Sure, is this coming in okay? We've read this. Wonderful. Missions. Get sponsored, okay. Uh, so that's how deadly these are. Oh, that's how deadly these are. Cool. I'm just kind of skimming. Let's do this one first. And it's that plant wants someone dead, rack up. Kills some enemy vehicles to build up the meter. Once it's full, the target will come out of hiding. Sure. Sure. Should be fine. I sucked at this game when I played it, just so you know. But I quite like the idea and the concept and the storyline to it. Because you can basically make moves to this vehicle. I don't know how to explain it. You basically make moves to this vehicle. But see, it's not instant. It's much like a computer controlling it. And then you can start doing stuff like this. Oh no, that's like laser. You wanna... I don't know. You wanna kill this off. So that's not good that they've got laser. Turn around. How do we like just regular, just regularly kill things? Oh, pipe bombs are behind us. That was silly. We're gonna die because I'm no good at these games. See stuff behind us. Oh, they have to like. Okay. You dead? Yeah. Okay. So we got those back. People coming up behind us. But, uh, we don't want to slow down. We don't want to speed up. And fast forward. I kind of want to turn around, but I don't know how, so... Let's just go there. Yeah, vehicle status is good. That was some lights. I guess we kind of just slow down. Ah, uh, into of that. And then we speed up. Here. 
my light is never on for very long, which is obviously an issue. My laser, I mean. Yeah, sure. Alright, so you're dead. Alright, no, not yet. Taking me some time, I guess. Mission time seven minutes. Yeah, my um. These are light. These are light. Good. You're dying. failed. I was no good at this at the event either, to be completely honest. I really like the game. But that sort of idea of you having to go through and make all of these decisions, and like time slows down, but it doesn't stop completely. So, I know what I saw. Idiot claims monster sightings. I don't care if an idiot claims monster sightings. So, our fuel. We kind of still used fuel, despite being a brain in the jar. Oh, I can shop stuff. Okay. Yeah, we don't really have money to do this. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, this is tutorial lessons. This is a virtual environment. You can test your vehicle risk-free. I feel like a tutorial would have been good. I just didn't read that bit. <laughs> yep. Cool. I don't know how to do all of this. I was hoping it had more stuff. That's one basics, okay. It's a big reading tutorial. Not readiness, true readiness, okay. Computers can be executed. Alright. So there's more strategy we can do. I'm not very good at strategy and or reading stuff. Um abort tutorial. Yes. Let's just try one more time. Because I wasn't actually playing very well. Getting used to my weapons probably. Some excuse like that. Mm, okay. Let's go to this one. What do we have to do? You must reach destination set by client, pass the enemy blockade set to the meter once it's completely full, you've reached your objective. Cool. Let's try it. I mean, I feel like we're gonna die. I was very much not good at this game, uh, which I keep mentioning because I was not, but I still think it's a really cool game. And I still like playing it. You ever like playing games where you die a lot? I'm just not very I don't know, strategic. Okay, so I can't go faster because my car is much heavier. No, I didn't need to do that though. Alright, now it's gonna take ages to fix. This is what I mean, I'm not very good. Alright, so there's another blockade. Alright, pipe bomb. 
this will probably be easy to get me. Did you die? Hope you got hurt. Yep, that's fine. I'm not really going that fast, to be honest. I like pipe bombs. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Cool. That's fine. I need to put on my like blue lights. There's nothing behind me, so. Yeah, I just flip that car. Cool. Probably using a faster car for this would have made more sense. Alright. So that like thing behind me was telling me that there were cars behind me, that yellow thing. It's fine, we're doing really good. I mean this one feels easier though. Because our vehicle weighs too much. Two more blockades, though. It's not bad being a brain in a jar. I mean, it's a bit weird for stuff to earn money, but you know. One would think that a brain in a jar doesn't need much. I feel like there's more stuff. But sure. Oh, I'm about to get flipped as well, but mission success. That's a pretty cool shot, you know. It's far easier. So, we got some money. We got no costs. It was a lot of money. How do we buy fuel? Not fuel tank empty. No. No, no, no. Complete no objective. Cool. Welcome back. I forgot to say my name is Quinn. I'm the biosurgeon around here. Don't go. I didn't go to med school or get a fancy degree, but I quickly became the best and only doctor around after I paid my own medical franchise. After I paid for my own medical franchise via the local GenTech representative, I couldn't find any match for your data in the database, and you managed to get your other medical data details erased. You fancy Dan? The screen section opt to me. Oh, uh, and all that subject of names. I'm going to call you Casey because well, why not? I'm assuming you can't remember your proper name, right? The whole amnesia thing is partly because you were involved in a car accident, but it's mostly because I chemically induced it. Forgetting about horrendous mental anguish after a serious incident is the best way back into productive society. That's my theory, anyway. But in your case, I guess it means you don't know anything about your past. There's no way to find any loved ones to fill you with the details. Whoops. Anyway, what I can do is catch you up on what you missed during your long-term snooze. First question, what do you think it is? Oh, you're about 30 years old. Out, buddy. It's 2025, April 9th. You were out catching criminals in the mid-90s when the likes of the Go-Go Boys were tearing it up on TV and Red Harvest was a firm fixture of Los Angeles, Channel 23. Boy, I used to love that Noel Gay V12 of hers had a poster of the car and Harvest on my wall. But now the Go-Go Boys are Go-Go gone. Red Harvest went into public hiding when she couldn't handle the publicity. Channel 23 doesn't exist anymore, and for that matter, neither does much of Los Angeles. Not everyone, not everything's changed though. Corporations still run every element of the country. The president is still a celebrity with political aspirations, and supply and demand are still a dominant laws that govern society. Fuel is getting more ex more expensive by the day. What what with reserves drying up and pipelines attacked by terrorists and the gang cults hitting robo truck fuel convoys. It's a dangerous world out there, especially for sanctum ops like yourself. So you want to cover your assets, weapons, armor, a better engine. It all helps you get the edge. Actually, let's get you kitted out now. All right, kitted out. Uh, so we've we've read this. Basically, we want. This is coming through. Okay, we've read all of this. Oh, it's this one. Treat yourself to some apple pie. It's pretty funny. They have these emails and stuff as well. Let's buy some stuff. So we've got pipe bombs. We've got this thing. 
which I think is good. We need to buy, we don't have enough money. We need to buy gas. I guess we should do a mission so we can buy more gas. I like blockade ones better, but I'm gonna try another one where I have to kill things. I'm not very good at killing things, I have to say. <laughs> but we'll try, and then afterwards we'll probably do another, like, just blockade run because those are less challenging for me. Fix the unexpected. No, I have no idea how. Just try, okay? Alright. I think having this thing that helps fix us will be good. You still have that? Yeah, okay. What does this do? Boost. Break. Match view. Okay. I don't think I can reach there. Let's try to laser them. Nope. Oh, we're just standing still. Cool. These are my targets. And they're putting out, like, basically... strange... I don't even know what to call them. Blockades? Alright, so we got those. Are you both dead? Nah, let's keep going. Let's just play bombs. <laughs> awesome. So we got some of them. Good, good, good. Look at all this stuff lying around. Those are allies, okay. So we obviously don't want to hurt allies. We find your allies. I could slow down and stay with them. Because they're probably helpful. Oh, I don't want to do it yet. Oh, I did it anyway. Yeah, we need to like target that better. Oh no! Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, that's pipe bombs. Oh, I do have two like people behind me that are good. But I think that's the target then? No, the target's not dead. I want the target to come back. Where is it? Maybe they killed it. There, right. Let's see this will match speed. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out where my health bar was, but I'm not really Waiting for whoever is on our enemy's team to appear. And there they come. Quite like flipping cars. It's like not even, not even trying to get up. I mean to laser damage this thing as well. I hope I'm not like hurting person too much. Oh no, that was that was definitely a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. Oh now you're hurting me. Okay, that's fair. I would have hurt me too. I did a bad thing. That did not help my game. <laughs> 
I'm gonna move on away from them because I feel like being near them is a risk. And I don't want any more risks. I know there's a key to like switch around to see what's happening behind you. Oh, we got him. Alright, so how's this going? We're going up a bit 34%, 40%. Hello, cool. friends. Haven't been hurt in a while. Killed a lot of gang members. Awesome. Very good. Alright, so we got some money, no costs. Oh, we've got loyalty now. Cool, let's buy some fuel because we need to. Ah, uh, yeah, fuel's way more expensive for to buy it all then. <sighs> we have a repair kit. Rocket launcher. I mean, we're gonna have to slow down soon, but okay. Teams terminated dead. Okay, it's about stuff dying. Pre warm up Little League. Favorite died in an ambush. Alright, cool. Okay. Missions. Data heist. Data is wanted. Find number of targets. Hack the number of them by their hack zones. Oh wow. Client wants to hit one of the rivals that really hurts their wallet via insurance premiums. Yeah. I like how these change each time. I don't know, let's try this. His mission's really neat. Alright, destroy the enemy robo trucks. Got it. This time I hopefully, you know, won't hurt anyone. But I'm not meant to hurt. Friend or enemy, friend or enemy. Definitely in my way. Looking like an enemy. Looking like an enemy, not gonna lie. Uh, it wasn't far enough away from me. Is he dead yet? No. Still trying to stay in front of me. A lot of life, this one. I saw that car coming up fast and I just didn't do any type of or anything about it. No, I don't want to do that. Cancel. Let's go fast. Let's go a bit faster. Nope. Not fast enough. I need to get up and like get to that target. I feel like I've gotten farther and farther away. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> it's funny though. It's like a recovery system. I like the laser light, it's very precise. Alright, you're killed. My target's back there. Back where? Ooh. Yeah, that's true, man. I hope we're getting closer to our target. Let's also repair, maybe. We can use boost to get that as well. Alright, so we're getting closer. I'm messing around with these um, other cars is an issue. Because that's what I'm doing. They're distracting me. Truck. Let's get 
chicken went. Neither of those hit them. Cool. Let's match the speed of this vehicle, because I like how far away we are. And we'll just very slowly, I guess, destroy it. Here. I need to get back up towards the truck. I mean, I feel like we barely did any damage to the truck. Like, barely any. This is so dark. Alright. I'm gonna go that fast. Oh, nope, I'm gonna go that way. Slow. Got some pipe bombs. This could kill you as well. Okay. It's so slow. I should get in front of it and deploy pipe bombs. That's smart. Can you actually get in front of it? Yeah, stop. I don't know how far away it is. Oh, lights, okay. Got a horn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, maybe this is a bit better. Oh, okay, we killed it. For whatever reason, I thought that that top bar was like a health bar, but it was just telling us that we had to kill one. I feel pretty good. We've done two missions. I mean, I feel like that like health thing we got is really helping as well. We're making a lot of money. Look at that money. And all it's gonna cost us is probably like 60k to pay back fuel. Yeah, dear enough. Can nibble project. All right. This is really neat. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here. If you'd like to check out this game, there'll be a link in the description. If you'd like to check me out, there's also a description. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Bye!